Hi beauties and curls, it's Melissa Q. Welcome back. If you are new, I just want to welcome you and say, what's up, dolls and gents? Hello. Hey, loveys. Okay. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave because I can wait. I can. Before we get into this video, I know you're going to love it. Come on and be a part of our family and don't forget to hit those notifications because it's going to let you know every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday I post a video, but I've been giving it to it. I've been laying it down. Why do we want to keep doing this? Somebody said that means snap, snatch your edges. I don't know about that, but I just, I don't know. I found out I keep doing this and that. I don't know. Anyway, don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. And yeah, let's just jump right into this video. Today's video is hashtag let's save 10K. We are updating you on update one for Project Pan. And this is the finished seven by fall. I'm so excited. I want to show you guys my progress. I did not realize how important progress is in Project Pans, but this is just a way of showing you guys that you can do it. You can go through and love on your products, concentrate on what you have. It kind of does a brain shift of like distracting you from like buying more if you're on over here. And I am officially on a no buy now. I have some stipulations that are a little bit different. I am going to talk about that in a different video in terms of my no buy because I do have, there's a way to spend money without spending money. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I got you intrigued, right? But that's a whole nother video. Let's just jump right into this update. Okay, so the first item I'm going to talk about, actually the first two, I am discarding two because one is expired. The other one I don't want to expire, but it's kind of like too dark for me and the one that's too dark is the l'oreal infallible uh this is in 110 cream cafe i should have known that this was way too dark for me because my girls cj and my sister who are both the same skin tone uses this shade i need a shade lighter so i'm not going to torture myself because i actually have to mix this with lighter foundations and i love the mix between the pro glow and the pro matte i do love that but this is just way too dark and i feel like it's going to take too much time and i'm not going to get through it the way that i want to so i'm actually going to pass this along to my sister I know she's gonna love it because she loves this foundation and this shade and so I'm gonna pass along I really try but it's not gonna work but I am going to put a new foundation in this project pan and I can go ahead and show you that I was gonna wait till the end but I'm going to actually put in the all-day luminous weightless foundation by NARS I love this I am in the shade Syracuse now this is my perfect shade I've changed my mind about this because at first it was drying but I think first of all the way that I moisturize my skin now is totally different and I also use my hands with this product I tend to get I'm actually wearing it today I really love using my hands to warm up the product so actually Francois Nars prefers that you use your your hands that's the actually the directions that's what it says but you shake this well I have made some progress but my goal is to at least get halfway through this bottle I do plan on totally decluttering this and actually finishing this by the end of the year so you'll probably see this in a, another project pan I just don't think that I will be able to get through this entire item but my goal is to get through this halfway the other item that I'm going to totally discard and I'm actually going to send this back to Mac is the fast response eye cream by Mac I really did enjoy this it has caffeine in it but I did not pay attention to the expiration date. Eye creams usually have an exp expiration of between three months to 12 months and it's well over six months. This doesn't even work the way that it used to. So I do want to put this, this is the Mirabella. This is their eye primer. I love this. And y'all, I have a dent in here but I don't even know if I can hit pan in this eye primer. I stopped buying eye primers because it takes so long to get through them. And I'm just going to, I really enjoy this one though, but I am going to put this in my project pan. I do want to do some damage on this before it goes bad or it dries out, but uh, I really do enjoy this. So I decided I'm going to put this in a project pan. It's probably going to take me all year to get through this, but I do have a dent in it already. 
and you can see that I don't know if that's like an air bubble or whatever but I am going to put this in instead of the eye cream I do want to still use an eye product I feel like that it still takes a while to get through products like this the first one I love this and I'm so glad that I have a dupe I've always talked about the dupe and I thought I had it over here obviously I don't it's the probiotic rehab by Pacifica I know I've gotten that question before but um, I am going to mark this and you see where it started. I am all the way down here, you guys. I am so excited. I got a lot of progress. I used a lot of this and I love how creamy it is. It's very hydrating. It, it contains coconut water and electrolytes and probiotics. So does the other one and it is a fraction of the cost. I love this too. A face hangover rx so i'm really excited i even want to try the primer spray but i want to get through some primers before i do that so um yeah i got a lot of progress a lot of progress with this one okay so the next one is the benefit hula bronzer i feel like i've gotten i i can't i'll be able to see once i have compared the pictures but i feel like i've gotten some progress i just take my my brush I usually use the Morphe E3 I really do enjoy this and I just swirl it in and this is a great contour shade now there are some dupes I feel like out there and I actually have another hula that I'm gonna get through before I actually buy I don't even really need to buy any more bronzers I love bronzers but I don't even need any at the moment but I feel like I've done some I, I've done some damage to this and I'm really excited I'll probably be using it as a uh, transition shade once I get through the next one that I'm talking about I am so happy I actually announced on Twitter when I hit pan on this and I am so excited it's such a beautiful transition shade and um, I actually have a dent in this now, one my whole goal was to hit pan in this one and this one so right now I plan to hit pan on this one I am going to still use this one I feel like that this is a shade that's ideal for me and wet and wild just please just go ahead and just start making these again these were phenomenal okay I think you had a, like a purple palette but these were really really good I don't know why you stopped okay another item this is the NARS my translucent crystal I know I've done some damage on this I've been setting my face and my under eye with this I'm so excited about this I've made good progress on feel like all of the items that I'm showing you guys so I'm just I'm so excited um let's see what else I have oh I have that blush where's the blush Joe <laughs> and this blush I made a lot of progress you can see more pan in this like I said I'm going to show you pictures but I just wanted to come with my first update I'm also planning to do the use and abuse tag as well as products that I've hit pan on so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up Please subscribe and I'll see beautiful you in the next video. Bye, loveys.